Number 7. This is 1927 S. Lincoln sent in MS-64 plus red condition. According to NGC, this is another issue which is typically found from worn dies, though there are enough well-struck pieces that they may be found with patience. The coin illustrated is reveals a fresh obverse die paired with a moderately worn reverse. Finding a 1927 S sense struck from matching fresh dies is a rarity, though it seems to be more likely than for the S mint sense of the preceding several years. Fully red examples are very rare, regardless of numeric grade, and these coins tend to have a dull, subdued red color. This scent ended up selling for $2,334.38 with buyer's fee. Number 6. Here is 1934 Washington Quarter with medium motto. Graded in mint state 67 by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, intense frosty luster is seen on both sides, the surfaces enhanced by blushes of iridescent golden apricot, champagne pink and blue-gray toning. This quarter is sharply struck and is excellent I appeal. 1934 is only the second year in which the mint produced quarters of John Flanagan's newly introduced Washington design. The economic downturn of the Great Depression resulted in reduced need for new coinage, and the mint did not produce any quarters in 1933. The Philadelphia Mint struck 31,912,052 quarters in 1934 and attractive superb gems such as this are scarce. It ended up selling for $6,000. Number 5. 1942 D. Washington Quarter with Double Die Reverse. Graded as MS-66 Plus by PCGS and later confirmed by CAC. According to the Cherry Picker's Guide, the doubling on this variety is most prominent on the eagle's beak, the arrows, and the branch above the mint mark. A well-struck premium gem with bold satin luster and light silver gray, gold, and speckled russet patina. The surfaces are clean and mark-free. It was sold for $8,225. Number 4. This is 1932 Lincoln sent in MS-67 plus red condition. According to Stax Bowers, splendid golden orange surfaces are fully struck with a silky smooth, virtually pristine appearance. One of several low-mintage Depression-era Lincoln scents that saw widespread hoarding beginning in the mid-1930s, the 1932 is more plentiful in mint state than a delivery of 9,062,000 pieces might imply. At the superb gem level of preservation, however, this issue is rare and seldom offered in today's market. It fetched a sum of $9,600. Number 3. Here is 1903 Morgan Silver Dollar. Graded as MS67 Plus by PCGS and further proven by CAC. With a mintage of over 4.6 million coins, the 1903 P Morgan Dollar is not a rarity in any sense of the word. Additionally, some bags of this date were released in the 1960s, which helps to explain many of the higher-end coins in the census. According to the NGC price guide, as of October 2023, a Morgan dollar from 1903 in circulated condition is worth between $40 and $75. However, on the open market 1903 silver dollars in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $24,000. This one ended up selling for $10,575 with buyer's fee on October 15, 2023. Number 2. Moving on with this 1982 copper-plated zinc penny with small date. Graded in mint state 69 read by PCGS. So how to tell the difference between small date and large date varieties. Here are some tips for you. According to Stephen Cochran, the top loop of the 8 is much smaller than the bottom loop on the small date. They are nearly even on the large date. The diagonal part of the 2 is straight on the large date, but curves down to meet the foot of the 2 on the small date. An incredible condition rarity from this transitional modern issue. The surfaces are essentially flawless, painted in an even salmon pink hue. Satiny luster cartwheels without interruption across each side, emphasizing the sharply rendered devices. It represents an incredible rarity and it ended up selling for $15,600. Number 1. 1953s Jefferson Nickel. Graded in mint state 65 with full steps. The key status of the 1953S has been recognized for at least 30 years, second only to the impossible 1954S nickel. Bernard Nagingist explains, although easily found as a BU coin, most are struck from worn dies. Full strike blazers are periodically seen, but are rare. A full struck five full step coin is a major rarity, and few have been discovered. This is one of the real stoppers. This piece shows warm, 
glowing toning over the frosted surfaces. The margins are blurred with the heavy dye erosion that is common to this issue, and many interior details also exhibit familiar softness, but the steps of Monticello retain their sharpness in the dye and are well brought up on the coin. It ended up selling for $24,000. Thanks for watching this video. Please consider subscribing to our channel for daily updates on numismatic content. In addition, you'll gain access to a wealth of informative videos, showcasing rare coins, historical insights, and valuable tips to enhance your numismatic knowledge. Have a good day.